Hi, this is Amber Rain Davis for NotableInc.com. I am hopping along with Alta New today for the Celebrating Parents Car Drive Blog Hop. Be sure to follow along on the hop and leave a comment on my blog post for a chance to win a $15 gift certificate to Alta New. And today I'm going to be making a Father's Day card and I'm going to be using a neutral palette and I'm featuring a technique I call second generation stencil inking. So we're going to be using Alta New's Coffee with a Splash and also the Half Tone Stencil. So let's get started. So I started by inking up the Half Tone Stencil and I just have it taped down to a piece of A2 size Nina Classic Crest Solar White. And I'm just spreading a couple different brown inks all over the stencil. I'll have all the colors listed on my blog post and I'll have links to all the supplies listed below in the video description. So I'm just finishing up getting the ink on and we'll go ahead and remove the stencil. Now I had stamped this little card panel here and I didn't like it at all. So we're gonna change that. But I really felt like that background was just too much. There was too much brown. I didn't like it at all. Um, so what I've done is I've sprayed the stencil with a mini mister um, from about eight inches away. I didn't want big droplets of water on the stencil. And so you can see here the difference in the look that you get. And I felt like that was still a little too much. There was too much pattern there. So I'm gonna spray my stencil again with a mini mister and it's just with plain water. And I'm gonna come back in with another piece of Nina Classic Crest Solar White. And this time there's going to be less coverage because I've already picked up some of that ink with the first panel. And so here um, you'll get to see it again. I'm gonna stamp directly on this panel now. So there's kind of like some ink missing in the middle. It's not completely covered. And I felt like this was perfect. So. I didn't like the brown ink the first time that I stamped it, so this time I'm using black, and once I stamped the black, I didn't like that either. I felt like it was too stark, um, too much of a contrast compared to the light brown ink background that I have. So what I did is I shifted my piece of cardstock slightly, and I re-stamped it in the milk chocolate brown ink, and I like that much better. It has kind of like a mixed media kind of feel to it. Um, you can see the background better now. And I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp my sentiment in just black. And that's gonna finish up the card. So a really quick card kind of has, again, that mixed media kind of messy feel. Um, I did cut down the panel to, what is that? Quarter of an inch smaller all the way around than an A2 size panel. And I'm gonna pop that up with some sticky back fun foam. And I put the sticky part right against the back of the card panel so that I don't see any glue lines on the back of the card panel. I'll add some glue on the back of that and it's all done. Oh, I did add a little bit more black spatter with just some ink spray. I just take the nozzle out and flick it on. And so here is the finished card. I really like how it turned out. I hope you do as well. Again, be sure to follow along on the hop for chances for some prizes and leave a comment on my blog to be entered for the giveaway. Thanks so much for stopping by. I'll link the two other cards that I did for this blog hop at the end of this video. It would be amazing if you liked and shared this video so that other crafters have the opportunity to see it as well. Thanks so much for stopping by and have a great day.